Kumon. If you know it, then you're most likely Asian. But if you don't, you might be wondering, well, what is Kumon? Is Kumon some sort of drug? Is it an Asian supermarket? Or it could be a terrorist group? Or maybe it could be religion. It could mean heaven or it could mean hell. It means hell. Mass hell. Kumon is basically a present for kids. Parents come drop them off right after a hellish day at school. And once you're about to approach the doors, you're greeted with this depressed, dead inside Kumon logo face. Oh, wait, wait, wait. You gotta use that uh, Gordon Ramsay violin sound effect. Like, look at the other logos. Global Art, Mathanasium, Sam, Clayworks. These logos all look happy and playful. And then Kumon is just depressed. So inside the Kumon I learned, there's actually a lot of different classes. We have Math, English, Go, which is like a Chinese board game, and Art. I'm not sure why my Kumon had so much different subjects. Normally Kumon would only have English and Math, but maybe they just needed more money. Either ways, I didn't care much because I knew that I would only learn Math there. My mom signed me up for all of them. So now I basically have to sacrifice 3 to 4 hours of my life learning at Kumon. So what I basically do in Kumon's math class is I first go into the class, submit in my homework, which I have spent 3 hard working hours on it. 2 hours of it was spent on crying, 30 minutes was spent on my mom scolding me, 10 minutes was wasted on begging for my sister to tell me the answer, 19 minutes realizing I suck at math, and lastly, 1 minute packing up my empty Kumon homework back into my cute little Kumon bag. I would normally just tell the teacher I forgot my homework for like the sixth time in a row since the teacher doesn't give a shit about what you do. So then I would just go to the cubby with my name on it, grab my worksheet, find a table and just start working. Just, just work. And then you're gonna have depression become the Kumon logo. And then you just submit in your work, grab your homework, put it in your Kumon bag. And then guess I can go home now. Well, no, because next to the math room, there's the go room. And I basically have to learn two more hours of go. So in the go room, perfect to fit about four people. There are about seven people in there. And there are those kids with the Thai school haircut that uh, the schools forced them to. And they also wore glasses. Yeah, those were like the biggest nerds in the class. They would literally sweat so hard, concentrate to the maximum level on a game where you play stones and sees who has more space. The game could just seem like it only started 30 seconds ago, but little did you know they've been sitting there for 3 hours and then I'm just sitting behind them playing on a 9x9 board with a kid 3 years younger than me. And, and English is just English. Art was, art was fun, I, I really liked art. But then eventually my mom understood my pain. Learning at Kumon place for 3-4 to four hours a day isn't fun at all. Uh, so, so she found a new play and said that the class is more fun and interactive there. Yeah, so I just asked my mom, how how does it look like? Like, can I see the logo or see like how the school looks like? So she picks up her phone and shows me this image. 